Hey guys, even here, and in this video, we got France Pro, or should I say, we got a preview of Samson Dauda's physique at two weeks out of the Mr. Olympia. Now, as far as this show, this isn't really a competition. I mean, as far as uh, who is the winner, it's going to be very clear. You're going to see in a second, nobody really comes close to Samson Dauda. None of these guys have the thickness that Samson has. The only guy that can, you know, kind of stand next to Samson and look fine is Andrea Preston, maybe Tio Leguerre, you're gonna see uh, Andrea move the next to Samson in a second, but as far as the winner of this show, it's very clear that it's Samson Dauda. Now, let's take a look at his physique, basically, and let's see what kind of conditioning is he bringing to this show, but guys, keep in mind, this is not a very important show to him, this is just a warm-up show. A show at which he's probably testing a new peak week, maybe, just seeing what his conditioning is looking like on stage and what he needs to work on and improve. And, you know, I gotta say, he, I, I wouldn't say he looks better than at the Arnold Classic, like as far as muscular development, I don't think he progressed at all, basically, I don't think he's any bigger in any areas, but you're gonna see why I think he is actually better, now, the first thing that pops to my eyes is his V-taper, basically, his midsection, which was uh, sort of a questionable thing lately, like, it seemed like he had a little bit of a protruding gut, but that doesn't appear to be the case on the stage, no, no, and actually, his waist... I mean, I don't know if it looks smaller, if it was wider before, but actually here, it looks very tight. Now, let's talk conditioning. Is Samson's conditioning here good enough, where it needs to be for the Mr. Olympia? No, 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 it's not. But it is basically the same as it was the Arnold Classic, I think. And um, the way his glutes are looking at this show, you're gonna see in a second once he hits the back double bicep, they're actually looking uh, promising. Let me put it that way. You know, they can actually be in solid shape at a Mr. Olympia if he continues uh, chipping away uh, at a good pace, right? So, like, I'm not seeing a lot of skin folding. Uh, I don't think his uh, glutes are looking horrible here. But compared to Hardy, compared to Derek, uh, Nick Walker, these guys, he needs to get uh, sharper for sure. And I guess that is why he did his show, to, to realize that. I mean, of course, the judges will tell him that he needs to be leaner for sure. But, you know, he looks good. He definitely looks good, much better than any of these guys, but, like, they are definitely not his caliber. So let's not even talk about uh, him compared to the other guys. I mean, as far as Andrea Presti and uh, Tio Le I think Andrea Presti is going to play second here. I mean, Tio has some strong poses, but majority of them are definitely won by Andrea, especially back double bicep. In back double bicep, Andrea looks pretty good even compared to Samson, actually. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure Andrea Presti is going to be second, third is going to be a Tio. And as far as Samson, once again, like, I don't see any big improvements, muscularity-wise. I don't think he really improved much. I mean, like, I thought he was going to be bigger because he's always bigger, but for some reason he kind of looks like more clean and his midsection is looking better. I mean, it could be the lighting or it could be the fact that he's using uh, less gear since he's working with that guy from Americ Health. He spoke about this on the podcast, like he figured out that he doesn't need as much gear as he used before. So I would say maybe he looks kind of healthier, cleaner. And his uh, conditioning like four, two weeks out, if, he, if this was... Let's say Derek Lansford or Heidi Chopin. I would be like, sure, in two weeks he will be ready. But I don't know about Samson. Like, how much can he really progress in those two weeks? Can he really get super conditioned? With this kind of conditioning, do I see him winning the Mr. Olympia against Heidi and Derek? I would say no. Now, maybe he's going to look much, much better once he's next to them because Andrea Prest is also a taller bodybuilder and Samson is going to look much, much bigger, like a, like a bigger man next to Hardy and Derek. So maybe with the wow factor, he actually is going to end up looking more impressive. But like those guys are also very, very massive, even though they're shorter, like they are probably, you know, just as thick in the legs, in the arms, in the back. Let's not even talk about Derek's back. So, I mean, at this point... Do I still think that Samson is going to win the Mr. Olympia? I think there is a possibility, but he needs to get much, much tighter. I just hope that he didn't use all the tools, like that he can still, you know, uh, up the cardio a lot and use the fat burners and like maybe lower the calories. 
I hope he has more tools available for him to really push for conditioning in these last two weeks, but he needs to travel, he needs to fly, he needs to do all these things in the next uh, two weeks, so I don't know how much can he progress, really, uh, how much will this affect him, like, is he going to be more tired, or is he going to be more motivated, I don't know, now, as far as speaking for this show, I'm sure he didn't do anything anything drastic, and also, I think the lighting of this show is kind of making all these guys look uh, softer, kind of washed up, I'm pretty sure Andre Presti is actually sharper than this, here he kind of also looks washed up, maybe he is actually because he did a couple of shows and he can't pick for this show properly, but I think if you look closely, I think you can notice that he is actually in good conditioning, but like the lighting is not really showcasing that. Later we had another call out, this is your top 4, Andrea Presti is on the side here, but I actually moved him in the center later, so Andrea Presti is placing second, and I'm pretty sure Theo is third, uh, and, and here you can kind of see uh, Samson more closely, so, I'm, I'm not saying his conditioning is bad, it's okay for two weeks out, but if he looks the same at a Mr. Olympia, I don't have him winning, you know, it's gonna be very difficult to win against those guys if he's like this, I think he's close to being gone, but I would say this is like 80% of Samson, and if he wants to win the Mr. Olympia, he needs to be at least 90%, at the very least, and I don't even know if he would win then, but can he be 100% in those two weeks? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure we're not gonna see something that we never saw before, like something insane, something crazy, some super high level of conditioning from Samson. It seems like he's going to be similar to what he was all these years. Let's hope he's 5 or 10% sharper. Uh, and if he is, can he win the Mr. Olympia? I mean, it's possible, but... I don't think, I don't think I'll have him in my prediction as the winner, based on what I'm seeing, you know, I want to see him win, I like the guy, I like his physique, I think his physique is phenomenal, but yeah, if he wants to win, he needs to be shredded, and this is lean, this is okay, but it's not shredded, it's not peeled, you know, and he doesn't need to be super peeled, like, he has the shape, he has the structure, he has the height, the size, all he needs is just good enough conditioning, and it doesn't need to be 100%, but I don't think he can win with 85%, maybe not even with 90, it needs to be like almost 100%, like at least 95, I think, because it seems like Derek made progress, Hadi is probably going to be very good as well, let's be real, Andrew Jack is coming strong, Nick Walker is probably going to be, bring something insane, so yeah, Samson needs to get super serious in the next two weeks, and really try to get as conditioned as possible. Whatever you think, guys, tell me down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, thank you so much guys for watching, all the best, and bye-bye.